Hey, it's Mike with Fleetwood RV. We're back in Decatur, Indiana to do another walk around video on the Bounder 33C. This is the 35th anniversary edition. The Bounder 33C is one of the number one selling floor plans in the Bounder lineup. And the Bounder is one of the top selling Class A motorhomes for the past 35 years. Let's go in and take a look, see some of the features in this unit. Before we get started on this floor plan, first I'll take a minute to thank every one of you guys that came down to the Tampa Super Show down in Florida. We had a tremendous amount of support for not only the videos, but for every model we have throughout our product line. We had an amazing Super Show hitting record numbers, and all of that is due to the support we get from you guys. Here it is guys, the Bounder 33C. This particular unit is the Pacific Exterior Graphic. It's a full body paint, and it's all Sickens paint. The good thing about Sickens paint is, it doesn't fully cure. That way you're not gonna have to worry about your clear coat cracking down the road. Another good thing about the exterior of this, the sidewalls, there's no lou on backer. There's no substrate on the back of it to delam. So another thing you're not gonna have to worry about is costly repairs down the road or when you go to trade in this motor home, you're not gonna have to worry about taking that big hit whenever you trade it in due to a delam. Let's jump up and look at some of the features and what's power in this thing. So the Bounder 33C is built on a 22,000 pound chassis and it's powered by the Ford V8. That's a 7.3 liter V8 put, producing 350 horsepower, 468 foot pounds of torque. We have the 22 and a half inch aluminum Alcoa wheels. Moving on to the exterior entertainment center. We have a LED TV with the sound bar that's incorporated into it. Gives you a pleasant audio experience on the exterior. Our first luggage compartment, we have storage down below and the top part is dedicated to our electronics. We got our battery control center. We have our inverter disconnect switch, a 2000 watt inverter and your solar panel controller. Bounders come standard with a 100 watt solar panel and we can upgrade that up to a 265 watt if you choose. There is a ton of basement storage in the 33C and almost all of it is pass-through storage. This gives you plenty of room to put all those lawn chairs in, um, fishing poles, all those larger items. Again, all pass-through storage. 10 gallon water heater and our 25 gallon propane tank and our last two bays, again, are all pass-through storage. We have our hydraulic fill for our four point automatic leveling system and pass through storage. Great thing about our luggage compartments, there's no wood, wood rots. We try to eliminate all wood throughout our whole basement. It's all rotocast or metal line. You're not gonna have to worry about replacing your uh, floor in your basement ever. Coming into or onto the rear of the coach, all one piece fiberglass rear cap, we have our backup camera mounted up top, has one-way audio. Your, your spotter can communicate with you, letting you know which way you need to go. We have a 5,000 pound hitch on the bounder. We have a two-piece ladder. We do this for safety reasons. You have to worry about all the little kids in the campground trying to get up on your unit or playing on the ladder. Great thing about the bounder, the fill for the fuel is on the rear. So when you pull up to a gas station, it's kind of like a diesel. You can fill up from either side and that is possible with the Bounder as well. Coming over to the driver's side of the unit, we have a power cord reel, all 50 amp service, and we have our surge guard and transfer switch in this bay as well. Surge guard is gonna protect against any dirty power coming off the post. The transfer switch just allows your coach to be powered by multiple sources, whether it's your generator or it's the cord coming off the post at the campground. We have a nice come and own and 5,500 watt generator. Right there's our generator exhaust. Now we're into the wash down bay. We have a whole house filtration system. So no matter which faucet we're using inside your motor home, you're gonna know you're getting nice filtered water out of it. We have our uh, black tank flush, really assist in cleaning out that uh, black tank. We have our two low point drains. So if you're gonna winterize your unit, this is where you need to come, as well as a exterior shower, 110 and uh, 12 volt receptacles out here as well. More storage. And this compartment, as we look in, is pass-through storage as well. 
Again, more pass-through storage. And right there we have our drain for our 100 gallon fresh water tank. Front luggage compartment again is pass-through storage. Right here we have our potable water fill. We have a nice contrasting half black, half chrome mirrors. We have our camera integrated up in the mirror. What that's doing is give you a nice overhead view of what you have beside you. With the competition and other units, you may see it down here below the belt line getting loaded up with road grime. When they do that, they're not much used to you because you can't see out of them. Coming around to the front, we have our one piece molded fiberglass cap. We have a large windshield giving you a panoramic view of the road ahead. And it is an automotive bonded windshield. This isn't a free floating windshield as you see in some other units. Let's jump inside and look at some of the features on the interior. Now that we're inside, this unit's all closed up in travel mode. Let's take a look at the access we have to our port and amenities. We have our microwave we can get to, full access to the refrigerator. Moving back into the bathroom, the door opens up, good access to the bathroom. And we come back, we have access to our full uh, king size bed in the rear. This bed does not have to be folded up, it's all the way down, so it's fully usable while in travel mode. Now let's open it up and look at some of the interior features. So as we mentioned earlier, this is the 35th anniversary edition. This is the celebration interior decor. Now what does the 35th anniversary edition get you? You're gonna get the upgraded Wi-Fi Ranger. That's gonna give you the option to get LTE service while you're traveling down the road via a SIM card. You're gonna get the Garmin collision mitigation system. You're gonna get a 265 watt solar panel and you're gonna get a power cord reel for your 50 amp power cord. Plus, you're gonna get the 35th anniversary badging in certain locations, such as the back of your captain chairs, on a couple decorative pillows, and plus on the exterior of their unit, you're gonna get 35th anniversary. Now let's jump in and look at some of the other features throughout the unit. So starting up in the cockpit, we have our 35th anniversary badging on the captain chairs. Now on the left side here, we have our hydraulic leveling system. With a simple push of a button, everybody stays still in the unit and it'll level everything out for you and you'll be ready to enjoy your camping. Up on the dash, we have dual monitors. What that's doing is allowing us to use our backup cameras or our side view cameras and plus use our navigation via Apple CarPlay all at the same time. With some other motorhomes that have only one monitor, you need to choose which one of those you want to use. You don't have the option to have them both at the same time. Some of our buttons on the left, the little red button is the uh, power button for the heated mirrors. We have our auxiliary start over there. Auxiliary start's gonna tie your chassis batteries to your house batteries. That's gonna ensure you don't get stranded somewhere. And you'll always be able to start your unit. And over on the right, we have our genera generator button plus all of our comfort controls. Right in the middle, we have some nice storage that's kind of hidden away. Over to the passenger side, we have a nice sturdy laptop tray with plenty of power sources to go in here. We have two USB ports in the center console and both of those actually have two USBs inside of them. So there's four in the middle. Down by our right leg on our passenger side, we have two 110 plugs plus two more USB ports. And then we have 12 volt plugs right there as well. Moving up top, we have our drop down queen bed. This is a full size queen bed. It has a 500 pound capacity in it. So you know it's very sturdy. The kids can get up there, romp around. You have to worry about them damaging the system. This is an option. And due to the width of the cabinet that it's setting in, there's interwoven teak slats in it that really enhances the comfortability of the drop down bed. So this unit can be controlled by the Illumaplex. Now this is a centralized location to where you can come and operate most of the features in your motorhome, such as turn off and on all of your lights. You can check the tank levels plus your battery levels, run your slide outs in and out, run your patio in and out, auto gen start, plus all of your HVAC. Now when you can program your auto gen start in here, that's going to come in real handy if you got pets. So if you go out for the day, you leave your pets in here, you can set a temperature and your motorhome will maintain that temperature. It will automatically kick on your generator 
uh, kick on your ACs and make sure your pets are at a comfortable level. Plus another thing is if your batteries get low, you can program a voltage level in your multiplex and then whenever your batteries hit that level, it'll kick on your generator and restart your batteries. And a lot of those features can be controlled by the uh, mobile app. So by downloading Precision Circuits app, you can control almost all these features. Now one spot where I find this really beneficial is running your slide out boxes out. And I'll show you that on the outside of the unit. So if you back into the campsite and you're all by yourself and you have a tree on the other side, you don't know how much clearance you have from your slide out box and that tree. You can simply pull out your cell phone, bring up the Precision Circuits app, and you can run the slide out, out with your cell phone. This is going to ensure that you don't run your slide out box into a tree and causing and costly repairs. This is one benefit I find really, really nice with the Precision Circuits app. Now moving back into the kitchen area, this particular unit has a freestanding credenza. The top does pull out for additional seating. We have two more chairs in the rear wardrobe that fold up and match the decor if you do need the additional seating. Good thing about the credenza is it really increases the amount of storage we have. So there's two drawers that pull out, plus the whole bottom of it opens up for additional storage as well. We do have 110 plugs located right under the bottom. So if you're using this for a workstation, that way you can power all your devices. As far as a pantry goes, we have two doors here. We have three pull out drawers, all on four full drawer glides and plus adjustable shelving as well. Up top, the whole length of this slide out, we have some overhead storage, all metal hardware, all metal European hidden hinges and metal struts as well. All of our cabinetry is ozite lined. What this is doing is really quieting down the ride. So when you're traveling a thousand miles from here in Decatur down to Miami, Florida, you have to listen to your plates chatter the whole time. Plus it gives it a real nice high end finished look. We have a solid surface galley top with a 13 by 60 picture box window. That window lets in a ton of light in an area that's usually dark. Underneath the solid surface covers, we have a stainless steel double bowl sink. And underneath these solid surface covers, we have a three burning cooktop. Directly above that, stainless steel convection microwave and a stainless steel Samsung refrigerator. So all, all high-end appliances in the Bounder 33C. Let's move back into the living area. It's a great thing about the Bounder 33C, it's zoned living. So all up front's a kitchen, and then we come into a living area. But again, we have our overhead storage. We have an optional theater seating in this one. And on our accent wall, we have storage up above, LED TV with sound bar, and a fireplace as well. Now this fireplace puts out 5,300 BTUs of heat. Good thing about that is if we're using our heater plus the heat pump in the rear AC, it's gonna be all electric. So you don't have to use the propane you paid for. We can still plug into the campground's electricity and use that to heat our unit if it's not too terribly cold out. We have our bathroom right here in the middle of the unit. We have the nice fiberglass shower, glass doors all throughout. We have porcelain toilet. A ton of countertop space for a bathroom, plus a medicine cabinet and nice storage underneath the sink as well. Coming back into the bedroom, we have our king bed. We have USB and 110 plugs on each side of the bed. We have our generator start button here. If you forget to program your auto gen start, you can manually turn it on back here. But again, up top we have overhead storage all the way across. This middle compartment's kind of unique. As you open it up, the light comes on automatically and there's 110 plugs inside and a nice cutout here for your CPAP. So you can have your CPAP machine up top and your hoses can come down, shut the door and it hides all that away. Moving over to the wardrobe side, what I love about the 33C is all of the storage options that we have over here. Right up top, nice deep storage down below we have the option for the 
combo washer and dryer. Two more storage cabinets down below. A nice bank of six drawers. Up top is our LED TV. And behind the LED TV, again, ton of storage. We have a hanging wardrobe right here. Adjustable shelving. And that does continue over to this cabinet as well. And as you can see, the sides are cedar lined. And then again, storage down below. So a ton of storage options in the 33C. Now that's the quick walk around the Bounder 33C. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest floor plans. And plus, utilize the comment section down below if you have any questions. I'll do my very best to answer this for you. Thanks.